that he was gay this week. 24-year-old wicketkeeper came out to his family and friends five years ago, but says the recent tour to Australia was the first time he had told fellow players. With us in the studio. Hiya. Hi. Why? Um, I felt the time was right for me. Um, you know, I was an, embarking on a three and a half month tour to Australia, which, you know, for me w was a long time. And, you know, having the secret, um, I wouldn't enjoy touring as much as I'd have, I'd, have, I'd have liked. And people said to me that playing for England should be the best time of your life. And, you know, for me, the cricket was great, but the sort of off field stuff, um, I would struggle with a little bit. So I felt, you know, and I was really happy with, you know, who I am. Um, I've accepted it. Um, I'm comfortable, so I felt time was right, and I decided to tell Andy Flower probably a week before we went. Does it matter? No, I mean, to me, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, Did it matter to them? No. I, honestly, the, the response that I've got um, has, been, has been unbelievable. My phone hasn't, hasn't stopped ringing for the last week or so. I've had Facebook messages from people in Australia playing club cricket over there saying that, you know, their story is really, ha my story has really helped them. Um, and, and that's why I'm here today, really. Um, you know, I, I just want to help, help people out. When you have to tell friends or family something that you're uncomfortable with, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's very How difficult. How did it go? Um, what well, I actually told my parents when, when I was about 19 years of, of age, and it went well. Um, I remember texting my mom uh, saying, look, I... <laughs> you're a big um, coward. Yeah. Um, I, I said, look, I, I've got something to tell you. I hope you still love me and all this. Oh. And, uh, and she was like, OK, you know, what is it? What, what do you want to say? And I, originally she thought I wanted to give up cricket. And I was like, I wish it was. But no, it's actually, it's actually not. I'm, uh, and, I, and I ended up calling her and I said, you know, I'm, I'm actually gay. And she was like, you know, so what yeah. sort of thing? It's like, yeah, it's absolutely fine. Come home and we'll talk about it. Um, so I did that, but I was worried about my dad because I hadn't spoken to him. Um, and, and I remember just pulling up onto the drive and he opened the door uh, and he came out and just gave me a hug and said, look, it's not a problem, it's absolutely fine. And we went in, we talked about it uh, and it was great. And, you know, I'm so lucky in that respect that I had, my, I had the support of my parents um, because I know that not everyone does, um, but there are, you know, people out there that they can call. And but call. when you did that conversation with Andy Flower, how did that go? Presumably he was just as cool about it. Again, he was, you know, 100% behind me, agreed that I had to make this decision. It was the right thing to do. And <laughs> like another funny story was uh, us discussing the options of um, me telling the boys. Uh, and, you know, obviously the, the first option you was... You told them, did you, rather than him? Well, uh, well no, this okay. is what we were Sorry, discussing. Sorry, I'm spoiling your story. So, no, no, it's <laughs> fine. And, and obviously the first, the first <laughs> option was me to stand up in front of all 16 guys that were going on the tour plus the 10 support staff or whatever it was and say that I'm gay and I was like you know straight away I can't do that to be honest and um, obviously he understood uh, and then we eventually came came to the idea that he was going to ring around as a you know obviously as the coach of the side respected member he was going to ring around half the boys Andrew Strauss team captain was going to ring around the other half and I owe them a lot for that because it made my life a lot easier and I'd have probably struggled to do it on my own. You you thought you were going to be in the in the World Cup squad. We all did, and you weren't. Did did uh, how how big a percentage of you wondered, however briefly, if if it was anything to do with what you what no, you just no, told? No, no, it, it didn't cross my mind at all. Um, you know, I think what you've got to remember is that Andrew Strauss and, uh, and Andy Flower and the ECB were the ones that helped me sure. get my story across. Yeah. So yeah. It, it was purely a cricketing decision. And, you know, I was obviously disappointed, I was gutted, but, um, you know, it's just one that I've got to respect. Are there other cricketers around who, who, who you think might be gay as well and might, might be helped by... Don't out them here, you, obviously, no, no, they don't want to be... I've, no, I've, got, I've got no idea, you know, I don't know of any, um, but, you know, I'm, if anyone wanted to chat to me, you know, I'm, I'm, always, I'm always free. Um, but, but, you know. but you might be, I mean, how do you feel about being a gay poster boy for um, cricket or sport generally? Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like I am. <laughs> um, it's, you know, it's been a surreal week for me. Um, you know, after doing my interview with, with The Telegraph, um, obviously going to get the paper and I could literally see my face on the front of it yeah. and I was thinking I was just going to be like a tiny piece oh, in the middle on. of the paper. <laughs> Did I really, you really thought this and I was like, Jesus, you know, it, it's got quite big. And it was the day after England and India, wasn't it? I mean, there's a, there's <laughs> yeah, a big cricket story to be told as well and it was you. Yeah. Um, but the response has been overwhelming and, you know, it's been fantastic. Facebook messages, my phone hasn't stopped and it's, you know, I'm so grateful for those people that have showed their support. And when Gareth Thomas, um, rugby player, uh, came out, um, very difficult for him, you know, big macho man and um, he, he told the world that he was gay. Did that inspire you? 
It did. Um, it was it was quite a big decision, and you know the the reason why I did it really because it, you know I saw him do it. Obviously, very brave of him, very courageous, and it and it just showed me that it, you know it can be done. Um, so yeah, I, I also owe him a lot, and and that's the reason why I'm here today is that if I can help someone else who is struggling with their sexuality, then you know. It's what a great would you thing. say to them? I'd say there are people to talk to. You know, whether it's your friends and family, some people don't have that ring child line. Um, they've got professionals there, they've got counsellors. You know, you don't have to pick up the phone to speak to someone. You can actually chat to them online now, and you, they can also speak to people of similar age, going through similar stuff, which is which is fantastic because not everyone likes to pick up a phone and and, and talk to someone that they don't know. What about football, Stephen? Is, is that the, the, the last, almost the last last bastion? Now, because uh, statistics tell us there must be quite a lot of gay football at the very top level is there a chance that, that you and Gareth Thomas without particularly meaning to might inspire the breakthrough in football where there seems to be no, no sign of one well you know I hope so um, you know if that does happen then, then great but you know I can only really comment on my own situation uh, and, and the response that I've had uh, it's all been fantastic it's all been great um, that's what I was kind of getting grateful. at, the fact that it's been so positive, it might just encourage people who've been fingers wavering and thinking about it. You've been supporting Charline, haven't you? The yeah. interviews that you did. Yeah. yeah. You I'm, donated the, the, the fees, didn't yeah. you, from those two interviews to Charline? Yeah, no, that's right. I mean, you know, I'm just so grateful that I've got my family and, and friends around me that have been so supportive. And like I said, not everyone has that. And so it must be, you know, it must be tough for them. Um, you know, it's hard enough with, with all the support. Um, so yeah, they can they can pick up a phone, they can just go online, and they can chat to you know professional people that have dealt with this for a number of years. So what's the next step? Are you going to take your partner home to see your mum? Um, well, I'm actually single at the moment, uh, and it's all about cricket for me and getting back into the England side. Okay, well fingers crossed. Hopefully, you, next time you're in the side, we won't lose against Ireland. <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> Are we going to recover at the World Cup? Yeah, we're going to win it. We're going to win it. Don't worry. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Really? Yeah. I, I really think we could actually. I honestly think we could. OK, have, have a bet. I, I'm very happy <laughs> between you two gentlemen this afternoon. That's great. Thank you so Thank much you for coming much. in. We really appreciate you taking the time. Stephen. Thank you. It's great. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Let us know what you think.